neck, 17 inches, chest expansion, 3 inches, biceps, 17 inches, wrist, 8 inches, fist, 13 inches, wrist, 81 inches. Handsome? Well, girls, you guess. <laughs> I'm certainly glad to see you looking so well. This boy had the fight, and I want to wish you a lot of luck, but stay in good shape and be in there for 15 rounds, because this fight goes 15 rounds, you want to be ready, because this fellow outweighs you 70 pounds, that weight's going to tell on you. I know it's not going to be a sensational fight like Willard and the Dempsey fight, but I know it's going to end in a knockout. My female intuition tells me I'm going to win, Jack. Well, that's good. <laughs> good <luck. laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you, Max. Me brave hearts are asleep in the deep. Ne'er a pink care, or ne'er a beware. Fair is near, so go slow, go slow. Yowza. <laughs> by Bear sends Kinnair to the canvas early in round one, the first of 11 knockdowns. Following through, Bear lands with both hands and sends the champion staggering. Again, Bear punches him down. Kinnair flounders. Referee Arthur Donovan intercedes, points Bear to a neutral corner. Bear starts, but returns to launch an attack with both hands, firing to the head and body. See how Canero sticks out his left to keep his attacker away. But the maneuver fails. Now you see why this championship match is one of the most talked about in ring history. It's a classic. There was no point system in 1934. Ring officials scored only by the round. And round one was clearly around for Max Baer. Now in round 11, Baer lands an overhand right, a glancing blow, but it sends Canera sprawling to the canvas for the second time in the round. As Baer rushes in, Canera turns to the referee. He's had enough. Max Baer becomes the new world's champion. Everyone in the heavyweight division is awed by Max Baer's punching power. Now they'll see whether the boxing skill and courage of the former champion Schmeling, with white striped trunks, can offset the dynamite-laden gloves of his younger opponent. men possess good left jabs and they spar looking for an opening. Schmeling, one of the finest counterpunchers in the history of the heavyweight division. But Bear corners Schmeling on the ropes and lands with left and right hand bombs. Schmeling knows that Bear's right hand can take you out and he tries to move away from it. Bear shows there's still life in the old Livermore Larifer with a smashing one-round KO victory. 
victory over formerly undefeated Pat Comiskey.